Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is bulls and cows. So the problem statement goes like this that you're playing the bulls and cows games with your friend. Now you write down a secret number and ask your friend to guess what the number is. When your friend makes a guess, you provide a hint with the following info. The number of bulls which are the digits in the guess that are in the correct position. Okay, so this boils down to whatever I've gone through now. I'll just continue it. Uh, we'll follow it. But we have a number that the other player must guess. So the per person will give a guess number and we have the actual number. So the bulls is equal to the digits which are in the correct position in the guess. And the cows are the digit in the guess that are in the secret but not in the correct position but in the wrong position. Okay. And you just have to tell that given the secret and the guess. What is the hint that you'll give to your friend? So the hint will consist of this information. Okay. Now the hint will be given in this particular format X, A, Y, B. X is the number of bulls and Y is the number of cows. So I just, uh, just give you an example. So let's say the secret number is 1807 and the guess is 7810. Now in these two numbers, this 8 is in the correct position. So this is the actual number and this is the secret number. The, oh sorry the guest the friend that it that the fake friend guessed out okay now in both of the numbers the number which are the same and in the same position the correct position are the number of bull numbers so eight is in the same position none other number are uh, like at the correct position so they are not in the bull number the uh, the cow is the number that is in the guess number but also present in the bull like in the secret number Okay, but they are not in the current position. So as you can see that 7 is present in the actual number as well, but not in the current position. 1 is also present, 0 is also present. So 3 numbers are there that are actually cows and uh, uh, one number is actually bull. You just have to print it in this particular format and that's particular. So it's very simple if you understood. You just have to take the two strings. Just first match out what all numbers are there in the current position. And for all the other positions, you have to just check that what is the frequency of numbers in the first number and the second number. Okay, so let's say one occur, two occur, three number, like whatever occur, number occurs in the first number and the second number and just match out how many number are same in both the numbers that are not at the correct position. Okay. And you just uh, tell that how many bulls and cows are there and just very simple no problem. So I'll just move on to the code part. If you have any doubts, you can mention the coin box of this particular problem. So what you can see is that this is uh, N, this is the number of bulls that are going to count and cows. So this is S and G for both the secret and guest number for this array will store out how many occurrence of particular digit is in this particular secret and guess that are not in the correct position. Okay. So we'll iterate over this, let's say the strings. If the ith number in the string and guess are same, which means they are same and they're also on the ith position. So on the same position, which means that it is correct and it is a bull number. So bulls will plus plus. Okay. But if they are not same, which means that it might be a cow number. So what I'll do is I will increment that particular number in the secret in the S array. And the, the number in the guesses at the like string in the guess array. So both of the number are incremented in their respective areas. Now what I'll do is for finding out cows, I'll iterate over these nine numbers and check that. So let's say that I have two numbers in one and two numbers in like two numbers that are equal to one number, like equal to value of one in secret and also two numbers in the guess number that are equal to one value. So both of them are one and both of them are not in the correct position because I have only matched in when they are not in the correct position. So I will just find out whatever is the minimum of both of the same value. Got it? So let's say I have two occurrence of five and three occurrence of five. So how many five I can match out in both the strings? Two. Because a one has three, but I can only match out same numbers that are not uh, in the same position, but are same in value. So five are same, but there are two occurrences in one string and three occurrences in one string. So I only match out the two occurrences. Okay, the last occurrence of five cannot be matched with any other number. Hope so. I I hope you get the point. So the mean of S of i and G of i was the same number, and that's the cow number. And this answer will be the string. You first convert that particular string. So you have to first print out the bull number that is x. So bull's number converted to string. Then add a. Then convert the cow number to string. Add then b. And that's the answer. And just print out answer. So it's very simple. Uh, it's not too much difficult to grasp out the like intuition and the particular logic for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box of this particular problem. Thank you for watching. If you do till the end, I will see you in the next one. Like coding and bye.